All right, YouTube. So here I have my chunky girl, Brene. Um, and like I told you in this morning's video, her body was mailed out from Lorraine. Um, Lorraine and I uh, of Dream Little Dream Nursery, we don't live that far apart. So it actually came today, which is awesome. I was not expecting this. I knew she was backed up. So I wasn't expecting anything until maybe early March. And today is February 26th second I believe but here are the changes that I've made to the body I requested so I had her make the arm shorter the body as a whole is an inch shorter and I'm taking the cloth off of her limbs to make her full limb um, I really just want to have I don't like having this cloth up here I hate how it looks in their onesies um, and you know just in some of their outfits it looks really weird it makes them look kind of weird like they have hips and it's just awkward so I've really loved having full legs and that's the goal for Miss um, Miss Brene here uh, I did ask her to gather the chest and you know she does the tush automatically so I'm gonna go ahead and start to oh and I also got um I love her cable ties because they're so small look at that you can barely notice them so I'm gonna switch out a few of the baby's ties because I don't like to see it especially on Kaylee Kaylee's necktie is here so when she's just dressed and looking at you she has this big bulge right here it's so weird um but yeah, here we go. We're going to um, open her up. I am going to take her completely apart right now. Um, I'll probably pause this video and then pick it back up once I'm done. Because I figure it's going to take me quite a while to, um, you know, get the stuffing right and everything. So this is the beginning. Wait, do I take this off? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm trying to remember if I should take off the limbs first or take out the stuffing first. But yeah, I need to put the limbs on the new body first so the stuffing will stay in the new body. I'm just going to reuse her stuffing. Remember, she's a new baby. She was just done, um, I think she was completed in October. And then the mom that adopted her got her in like about January, but she didn't bond with her and I bought, you know, I adopted her. So she's a new baby. Nothing is wrong with her. I just didn't like the eyes, which we fixed and I want full limbs. Well, at least full legs. And we're going to get that straightened out right now. Um, so I'm going to keep her stuffing. It's not like it's old or anything. I hope you guys can see. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Alright, so we have the limbs off. I've been thinking to take some weight out of these legs. These legs are really heavy. Um, I th I'd rather have the body be heavy than the legs because I don't like when the legs pull down and it looks really awkward and unnatural. So... We'll see. By not having the cloth at the top, it might not be that bad anymore. So I'm going to keep them as they are for now. Uh, so, and I love that she already puts ties in them. So all I have to do is connect it and pull them, and then um, we're ready to go. Um, this body is front loading, so the limbs should come out, come out, not go over to the side. I'm always nervous about the limbs because 
I mean, putting on the ties because once you put the ties on, you want to make sure it's not too tight because you still want them to be able to rotate. But if it's too loose, then the the parts will come out easily. The legs or the arm or the head. My big thing is usually the head. I usually don't put the head on tight enough because I still want to be able to turn it, you know. But we'll see. Look at the full legs. Look at her chunky legs. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. Like I said, I do have a fabric softener sheet in her. I love it. It's a good idea. Here's her weight. This it seems pretty heavy. Hopefully now that I'm making her smaller, I mean I'm cutting her length down, she'll feel heavier. She doesn't really, I mean her legs are heavy, but her her body doesn't feel that heavy. Alright, so there's the old body. And there's all the stuff that was in her. And we're going to place this in the new body. Once again, I am nobody's professional. Don't follow me. Don't say, oh, well, Gigi did it this way. I tried it and, you know, something bad happened. No, I'm just trying to figure this out so that I can enjoy my collection the way I want to. This, this, this is not the way that it has to be done. Or I'm not even sure if it's the way it should be done. This is just the way I do it. And I'm learning as I go along. This is only the third body that I've changed. I changed um, Olivia. I changed Xylan. And now here for Brene. And so now I'm just going to put the stuffing around her. I put this kind of in the middle. You don't want the smell to be overbearing. It's going to be light. So I put this down in the middle too, and then I stuff it around. My concern with shortening her body, I don't want her head to look too big. That's the fear that I have. Her booty's lopsided. Let's get that fixed. <laughs> so chunky. I don't really want to feel the weight in there. Like, I don't want to feel it from the outside because it feels kind of hard. So I want to make sure I have, to me, I want to make sure I have stuffing all around that sack of weight so that when I touch her it's cushiony not hard uh oh see there goes a leg I told you that's my f my thing is you know you gotta make sure you get the legs the limbs tight enough but I hadn't cut it yet I was just yeah I knew that wasn't permanent yet come on leg uh oh See, that's why I like to put the legs on before you put the stuffing in, or else you have stuffing coming out around it, and that's not good. No bueno. Alright, come on, Brene, sit up. 
She's such a good girl. She always listens. <laughs> yeah, right. Another thing I fear too is I want to make sure it looks smooth and not lumpy. You don't want to have too many weird lumps. That's kind of disturbing. I'm sorry. I just looked back at the camera. That's kind of disturbing. I apologize. Okay, I think I'm just about right here. She's leaning so her booty's not right. Hold on. This booty needs more meat. Or this side of the booty, I should say. Needs a little bit more meat in there. Come on. Ugh. She's not leaning anymore. I think I'm going to get her arms put on. I love her painting. Her, her, her little fingers are just so... I don't know if you guys can see it. But I just love the shading on there. She's just a well-painted baby. She, um... And she's just a hard kid to paint. The, like I said, when I first saw the sculpt... This was a sculpt that I never wanted. I said, the Feiyan sculpt is hideous. I don't want it. You know, she's just a hard sculpt to like. Um, I appreciate her painting more than her sculpt. Just like with Denim. I appreciated his sculpt more than his painting. Um, and now I have the opposite. Uh, her painting is beautiful, but this face is still kind of growing on us. Whenever we walk into the room, not me, but whenever the kids walk in, like the first time my daughter walked into the laundry room and saw her, she screamed. I thought something was wrong, but she didn't know the baby was there and she, it it scared her. <laughs> and my mom came by and she said, there's one baby in there that scares me. You need to let that one go. <laughs> but I don't know. She's just my mean girl. Um, We'll see. The eyes are, are make a great difference. I, I do enjoy the eyes. I may even go darker on the eyes. Just the size is the main component there. They're not yellow. And they're not as big. So I think that's what makes the biggest difference with the eyes. So I think I can even go a little bit darker there. Um... Uh -oh. But yeah, Lorraine um, of Dream a Little Dream Nursery, she's just a delight to work with. She responds to emails quickly. Um, she said she was really backed up. I wasn't expecting my the body for weeks. And I just ordered the body. It's been less than two weeks and here it is. It's here already. So, um, I was thinking more like four weeks or so, but nope, here it is. 
So I'm very grateful because it's a horrible feeling when something is pending. You know, like I knew I wanted the body, so she wasn't a complete baby. So she was just kind of pending. Right now, my nursery is pending. Denim isn't home. You know, it's a terrible feeling when something is just not complete. So as much as I enjoyed, you know, I was enjoying having her in the nursery, she wasn't a complete baby to me. So I'm glad that now I finally have the eyes, I have the body, um... Uh, so that's, those are both great things. Now the arms, I don't mind tightening really good because they spin on the joint anyway and not in the cloth. So the arms are fine. Uh, just want to make sure the body is okay before I get that head on. I don't want to have to keep opening her because every time you open them, you ruin the fabric just a little bit. So I don't want to have to keep opening her. Mm. I am going to add this stuffing up top. Okay, so let's see here. My chunky girl, can you guys see her? Hey, chunk of monk. Well, I can tell her head doesn't look too big. That's awesome. Although now I'm thinking I should have put more. I don't have any weight in her head. I just have the stuffing. Um, but I should have put, I don't know. I don't like when it falls back. She's too old. Her body, for her to sit up, it's... Uh. There she is for the most part, guys. Um, I like the body. She looks, she does look proportionate. Um... I'm happy with this body. Let me uh, get her dressed. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to cut these. Cut these off. This one I'm sure about. If you've watched all of this, thank you. I appreciate you sticking through it. Her head. Yeah, I can still turn it. And it's not coming out back there. Sometimes when you bend it down to start to come out, it's not. So I'm happy with that. Some people don't cut this. They loop it. Well, I've already started to cut it. But they loop it back into the fabric. That's awesome. I never had the patience to do that. I just cut it off and get rid of it. When I got Jersey, when I opened Jersey for the first time, I realized that her little knob here was sewn closed. So you didn't see it at all. Michelle, so she sewed it closed, so it was just you know seamless, which was awesome. All right, so now for these legs, want to make sure it's not coming out. This one, same thing. Want to make sure it's not coming out. I can still turn it. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So there's Chunky Monk. There's Chunky Girl. No, you want to act shy? You want to act shy? You're naked in front of the people. Let's get you some clothes. Hold on. All right, so this is an outfit that I bought. <clears throat> you guys will remember this from months ago, a haul that I did. Um, it's an Old Navy size zero to three months. Um, it was too big on Nalicia, too small on Cassidy, and um, just a little bit short, I mean, and a little bit short on her as well. So now that her body's a little bit shorter, I'm going to see if it fits her. Uh, I really, really like this outfit. And I've just been trying to find a baby girl to put it on. And have it fit well. Her body's a little bit lump. It's a little bit uneven. But I can manipulate it from the outside, too. It's just easier if you smooth it out from the inside. Ah. Alright, so let's see if this works. I'm excited to see her in her outfit. I'll admit that. I'm kind of Christmas day-ish right now. She is so pretty. Her paint is amazing. And the eyes make a big difference. It's dark in here. Look at that. No more hips. No more hips on the baby. No more hips. I love it. I love it. Yay. No more hips, mamas. All right. Let's put this on and see if this fits better. I mean, it almost has to be a perfect fit now because it was just a little bit short on the legs. So, let's see. See, in my mind, I have things planned out, which is why I hate when things are pending. In my mind, I knew I wanted to see this outfit fit on her new body. So, you know, when things are just pending and I just have this outfit sitting, it, it's frustrating. Same thing with denim. I'm waiting for denim to come home. I bought so many boy outfits and I'm not touching them until he comes home because I want him to be the first one to wear most of those boy outfits that I purchased. So it's just like, yuck. I, I don't like this in limbo feeling. And maybe it's just me being weird. Like, why should it matter, right? I don't, I don't know. I'm just that type of person. I like to have things a certain way and done in a certain order. And when it's being held up, I, I just really, really can't stand it all right so yes this now comes to ankles it comes down to ankles it comes down to ankles it fits and it says made with love oh yay you gonna sit up and show everybody you're a big girl yes there's my big girl Brene new body feeling good all right there she is i'm very happy she her arms and legs look proportionate her head looks proportionate her body is still chunky but not terribly chunky 
it it fits. I'm so happy. I was very nervous. I wasn't sure if taking off the legs and shortening the arms would work, but it did. I'm happy. Thanks, YouTube. See you next time. Bye.